Well, the new setup must be working because this is my second video in the same day. I'm really enjoying this Espresso Vivace uh, Dose, which is again, excellent, super chocolate, lots of crema, really good um, Seattle roasted uh, coffee. So I'm gonna make some more of this. One of the things um, that I like about this setup is that I'm using a GoPro camera instead of a larger camera, which requires a lot more setup, tripod, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I do have to give credit to another coffee uh, channel. His name is Chris, and he does this thing where he actually mounts the GoPro on his head and does a workflow session. So maybe someday I'll, I'll try that, but um, seeing how great, uh, how good of a quality he was getting with his GoPro made me think, yeah, I don't think I need to have a super heavy duty camera. I can mount this GoPro and put it on a flexible arm and be able to basically do my own shots this way. Um, so having 14 grams of espresso, putting it into the niche, we'll make quick work of it. And once that is done, I'm going to distribute it and tamp it. People say the niche is a zero retention grinder. Well, it's not exactly zero. Uh, you do gotta kind of hit it a little and flick it every so often just to get the last bits of grounds out. But compared to other grinders, it's definitely a lot lower retention. Okay, let's do some tamping. Let me adjust this so you can see. There we go. Take off the funnel. Again, I can smell this coffee all the way over here. I've mentioned before that I like a pretty heavy tamp. Um, I'd love to hear what your experience is if you have a Ponte Vecchio or another machine, if you find that a heavy tamp gives you more consistency. Uh, for me, I do. Lock this in, put the cup. Let's get a good view of the espresso making process. All right, I'm gonna pull it down and let it pre-infuse. Uh, oh, I'm actually wearing a watch uh, that has a chronograph on it, so I can actually time precisely 10 seconds. Now I'm two Fellini pools and a gentle release. Once more. Wow, look at that. Look at all that crema. That is gonna be delicious. All right, I'll stop it in 30, 35 seconds. And there we go. Wow. Maybe the whole reason why I wanted to make another video was just as an excuse to drink more coffee. Mm. This is delicious. One of the things uh, I would noticed in my comments is that there are a few of you who actually own a Ponte Vecchio, which is great. I, I think this is a lovely machine. Let me back this up so you can see a little more of it. There we go. And one of the things somebody said was that the finish is a little bit rough. And I, I agree, this uh, finish is, to me, very uh, appealing, uh, very solid, uh, has nothing to do with the quality of the manufacturer. But, you know, I do think if you pay a little more money, you probably can get slightly nicer finishes. But this kind of reminds me of the other hobby that I have, which is, uh, I'm not very serious, but I do like um, watches. And there's this concept in the watch collecting circles of a tool watch. And this is a good example. This is a Omega Speedmaster, which is uh, got its fame because it was sent to the moon. So this was the first watch worn on the moon. It was issued to all of the astronauts in a NASA program. But if you look at it, you can see that it's really designed to be a tool. It's designed to tell time and to be able to mark time using a chronograph. And that's pretty much it. There's no diamonds, there's no precious metals, it's stainless steel and springs and a very high quality movement, but it's basically a tool. 
And that's kind of what I think about this Ponte Vecchio. It's a tool. I, I think it's a beautiful tool, but it really is a tool. It's designed to make lots and lots of espresso. And it does it very well, very consistently, and it hardly ever breaks down. In fact, this one has not broken down, knock on, knock on wood, but um, that's what it's designed to do. And so it's a great combination, I think, of a well-designed tool that makes amazing, amazing espresso and also does not cost a lot compared to other machines, which you are paying for maybe a finer finish um, or more decorative elements on it. But I don't know. I think as a tool, this is great. And I do think that tools like like the Speedmaster watch has a certain beauty in it because it is so well designed and it does its job very, very well. All right, until I get thirsty again, until next time, uh, remember the best espresso is the one that you pull.